Hey everyone, welcome to this weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast for the week of August 15th through the 21st of 2022. All right, so this week we are essentially coming off of a full moon that we just had last Thursday and Friday. And so coming into the week is disseminating phase of the lunar cycle, which is good for implementing things, uh, new insights, new perspectives from that full moon. And then when we do have the actual third quarter moon, which will be about midweek around Wednesday, uh, good to start to take some actions. That is a more action oriented phase of the cycle. Can be very constructive and usually much easier to work with uh, than the first quarter. Uh, than the early part of the cycle, since we're more experienced with this lunar month, more um, you know acclimated to it at this point. But with this, we do have some supportive aspects this week. Around Tuesday, we have Mercury, the planet of our minds and communication, in a good trine with uh, spontaneous, exciting, and experimenting Uranus. All right, so we could have a bit of an innovative mind. Maybe good to mix up that routine a little bit. Think outside the box. Very innovative in that sense. Uh, it's great. Then around Thursday, Venus will be trining Jupiter. Venus, the planet of values and relationships in good harmony to expansive Jupiter. So here around Thursday, maybe enjoying some of the more abundance of life, maybe some of the enjoyments, the simple pleasures of life, uh, more willing to kind of go with the flow, a little more open-minded, and in those relationships, maybe a bit buoyant as well. And then Friday, we do have Mercury going into his uh, home sign of Virgo. And so there is slightly a shift uh, this week and it's towards thinking maybe more in terms of what can be fixed and solved and improved upon uh, with that slight shift there. And uh, then the week ends with uh, Sunday Venus uh, opposite up to watery Neptune. So maybe some things there in those enjoyments and relationships that can be more about peace, more about tranquility and finding some balance there with the uh, receptive energies of life. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of this here in more detail when we return. Alrighty, so here is the sky for this week. We're going to look at this for each day of the week, starting first with Monday, August 15th. And as you can see here, we are using the actual sky, which is very different from mainstream astrology, which unfortunately does not use the actual sky. And so the signs do change. And if you notice some of the sign placements I'm saying are different from mainstream astrology, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, let's just do a quick recap about uh, where everything is this week, because we did have a lot of sign changes last week. Um, but right now, coming into the week, we still have the Sun and Mercury in Leo. And so it is the year, it is the time of the year for expressing ourselves and focusing on the things and people we love in life and maybe some creative energy. But fundament fundamentally, it's self-expression, which can be very energizing at this time. We're still thinking this way while Mercury's here up until about that Friday time period. And uh, so definitely adding to that fire expressive energy. But there is some water here. Venus is in protective cancer. So when it does come to those values, enjoyments and relationships, there is a good protective energy available. So maybe enjoying a bit of the personal life, emotional life and easier to care for ourselves and others or at least enjoying that uh, can be a strong potential there with Venus and Cancer. And then Mars has recently shifted into more grounded Taurus. So when we're taking action, it is good right now to take things slowly and steadily, not to rush things too much, taking things one step at a time, stopping to smell the roses as well. And uh, that can be great. And again, this is going to be a very long transit of Mars since he is going retrograde a bit later this year. Okay, so in terms of the aspects, as you can see, definitely on the more supportive side with a lot of these trines we have, um, and that one opposition towards the end of the week. But the most important thing is that it is an implementation week from the last week's full moon. So Thursday, Friday, it was a status check. It was a shift, shift of perspective, maybe quite literally things shifting in our lives. And so this week is a great week for implementing that stuff and maybe challenging ourselves to implement around that middle part of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, when we go into that third quarter moon, which is the square between the sun and moon and it's more action oriented in that sense there but you know supportive week for that kind of implementation now Monday and Tuesday we have the moon in Pisces and so uh, just like it was on Sunday it is a good couple days here for a little bit of receptivity uh, connecting to our soul 
doing things that are more soul fulfilling in our life, maybe a little bit of rest or peace, turning a little inward. Now it isn't a lower energy phase of the cycle by any means. We're still again in that heightened energy around that full moon, but uh, certainly good to incorporate things that do lead to a little more peace and soul fulfillment in our life these, these first couple days. <clears throat> and we should be feeling a bit empowered on Monday, still coming off of that trine between Mars and Pluto. So this is also from Sunday coming into Monday where we could be feeling a bit of that assertive, independent, direct, confident energy, willing to remove obstacles, willing to face fears, at least relatively speaking, very supportive here. And so perhaps some empowerment there uh, in that context as well. And then still with that moon and watery Pisces on Tuesday, uh, Mercury will try and up to more spontaneous Uranus. And so our minds are getting uh, a, you know, a bit of spice here with the maybe excitement or thinking at a left field, maybe experimenting with things. So it's great to experiment with all things mental, communicative, and routine based. And um, you know this can really bring in some of that excitement, maybe some new perspectives, some innovation. And again, anything involving those things can just generally be quite supportive uh, especially if it is innovative or different in some way or involving technology or, uh, you know, innovative stuff with this trying to Uranus. All right. And then once we do get to Wednesday again, third quarter, more action oriented phase of the cycle, maybe some challenges, but it's more like we're challenging ourselves. And again, it's much easier to do that in this later phase of the lunar month. But the moon will go into active Aries. And so uh, both Wednesday and Thursday, it is good for, excuse me one second. It is good for a bit of that assertiveness, and we'll probably notice some major themes around that. Themes around uh, asserting ourselves, themes around taking initiative, good to take that initiative, and um, you know maybe themes around independence as well. So a bit of that fire energy. Aries the ram is about thrusting forward and taking initiative, and so good to cultivate that. That's sort of middle part of the week there. But also here around that same time, so in this case on Thursday, uh, Venus will be trining expansive Jupiter. So this could be enjoying perhaps a bit of that free spirited energy. So enjoying maybe a little bit of adventure, both with maybe relationships, also maybe just simply with mental things, since Jupiter can often be about philosophy or spirituality or more abstract stuff, enjoying some of that. Um, but nonetheless, a uh, bit of a you know, willingness to expand our mental and literal horizons can be quite enjoyable and a great way of connecting in those relationships. And maybe some of those relationships and enjoyments of life are just a little bit um, supportive here, um, enjoying some of the abundances there in those areas, or being a bit open-minded with those areas as well with this uh, very nice trine between two benefics, Venus, planet of attraction and what we enjoy in life, and Jupiter, the planet of possibilities and potentials. All right, so that's uh, there on the Thursday. And then once we do get into that weekend, so here around Friday, the moon will go into grounded Taurus. And so this finishes the week here in terms of uh, taking things a bit slowly and steadily, much like we were saying with that Mars. So good weekend for, again, stopping to smell the roses, maybe enjoying some nature, uh, maybe feeling a bit resourceful or self-reliant. Uh, this is actually a, a very supportive place for the moon. The moon is exalted here. And so uh, just generally good for that um, more steady, approach to life and having gratitude and maybe enjoying the natural world, the sensual life um, here over the weekend. But along with that, uh, on Sunday, we do have that Mercury uh, opposite up to more watery Neptune. And so uh, this is a little more neutral in a sense. Uh, maybe there's some imbalances as well, since oppositions do tend towards some pendulum swings here. And so it could be that our mind is maybe wanting to escape. Uh, maybe we're just wanting more peace in life and the natural tendency might be to go over or under with that. And so just finding some balance with healthy receptivity, right? healthy peace, um, and perhaps channeling some of that soul guidance, intuition, imagination, needing of you know, soul fulfillment into the practical world. And this can be extremely constructive because Mercury is a very practical planet, rules our minds. Neptune, we could say in this context, rules our unconscious or the spiritual. And so merging the spiritual and the mental or the spiritual and the physical, even the spiritual with the day to day, since Mercury can be routines as well. Right. Finding that balance uh, between the two is fantastic. And uh, yeah, there could even be some things coming ahead, maybe 
uh, intuitions, new perspectives, strong dreams, things like that that could actually give us some new perspectives and insights as well. All right, everyone, so that is the week in a nutshell. Put simply is that it's an implementation week from last week's full moon. Uh, we have generally supportive aspects, but of course, you know, there's depends on our individual charts and there's always challenges in life, of course, but collectively it seems to be more on the easier side, even though we are in the third quarter phase because typically this would be a more uh, action oriented and challenging ourself phase of the cycle um, so still good to do that of course in terms of that implementation but uh, nonetheless a bit of support mentally with some innovation some change some excitement perhaps there in the day-to-day -day with mercury uh, some of those enjoyments and relationship stuff getting a bit expansive with that trying to jupiter and just that sunday finding a bit of balance there with those uh, receptive uh, energies of life. All right, so everyone have a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're not yet signed up for MTZ Insiders, it is a free newsletter where you do get these videos released first before YouTube and extra content not normally released on YouTube. So if you're not yet signed up, definitely do so down below. It's absolutely free. But have a great week, everyone. Thank you again, and I'll see you all next time for the next Astrology Forecast. Take care.